The elven city of Prifthanus. It's been our objective for the last several months to get here, and as soon as we get past the Crystal Gates, we'll be able to access some of the strongest training methods in the entire game. It isn't going to be easy, but it's going to be worth every second. In this video, we're finally gonna get it done. It's a rite of passage for an Iron Man account, and with it unlocked, we can finally start our journey to the end game. Looking at my stats, I'm five level 75 skills away from the quest requirement, but I think we can knock a couple of them off right away. It's time to bless up. Another one. Another one. Another one. Okay, that was pretty rough. That is level 75 prayer done, which is one of the prif requirements, and this is also the last time I'm gonna be training prayer until I make the push for 95, so that's good too. From this point forward, we're gonna be hoarding all of our bones. That's 75 pr Ah, I can speak. Way to ruin the clip, Ryan. That is level 75 crafting. Rings of the Slang, that's actually pretty exciting. Harmonic Dust, most importantly, that's the prif rec. Done. Even though it's not listed, I do need level 70 fletching, and unfortunately, I don't have enough slayer points to buy the ability to make broad arrows. So we're actually gonna have to go and do a bit of a slay day. It's a bit of a throwback to the earlier episodes when we didn't have a care in the world, all we did was run around Gilinor and kill stuff. So it's time to slay, and I'm kind of looking forward to it. I've been doing pretty much nothing but skilling for the last couple weeks, so it's gonna be a good break. Hey, 92 attack. It's not too bad. Hey, we can finally put on that CGS. Now we just need to, you know, get one. Ooh, hard clue. I won't be able to do this because I haven't done very many quests on this account, but you know, maybe someday. That is 122 combat and level 92 constitution. We're like, we're almost at the amount of HP where we can start tanking so much powers, you know? Not bad. Another 18 points, so we are now on 234 points. All right. Man, I wish we had Lanica. It'd be so much quicker. There's about a 0% chance I actually go for an Ascension crossbow on this account, but hey, you know, it's a start. I will definitely use these keys at some point, maybe, but probably not though, because those bosses are really scary. You disconnect even for two seconds and you're completely dead. So yeah, no, no Ascension. I'm not gonna do anything with these keys. One more and that would be task complete. That's a big task right there. All right, we now have 270 points. We need 30 more Zara points. Task complete, 288 points. So as long as we don't get a crap task right here, we will have our 300 points. That's uh, that's a pretty easy clear. Gargoyles. I definitely didn't lose the clip of the last Slayer task. So uh, this is totally my hardcore. We just finished the Gargoyle task and I now have enough Slayer points to buy the ability to make broad arrows. So 70 fletching is pretty much banked. Although I kind of want to work on some more Prif skills before we get it. So we're going to circle back to that. What do summoning and construction have in common? Well, they both require a lot of money, and a lot of money is uh, not something I currently have. So we're gonna do a bunch of alking. I'm gonna alk literally everything in my bank that I can alk, and hopefully I'll be able to get the 75s, but I would not be surprised if we run out of money and we have to do some bossing as well, which isn't a terrible thing, but I really wanna get Prif done as soon as we possibly can. So it's a bit of a wrinkle in the plan. Still, I'm gonna take it as far as I can with the money I have. That's 71 summoning. Keep it going. Four more levels to go. Hey, and we got the Arctic Bear. That's 72 summoning. Three more levels to go. Stone Spirits and the personal record. What more can you ask out of a Reaper assignment? Kid is absolutely sick. I appreciate it. Ha! Ah, no! I got an herb burner and I... Oh, oh, it's still there. We're good. All right, last bear's on the Reaper. Ooh, Varax Helm. Actually, that, that might be a really good one for me. Okay. Well, that's not bad loot from, what, a little under an hour of Elite Dungeon running. And uh, that's without the value of the relics. We're gonna bank all the relics, elk them up, take our money, and then we should be good to go for training some stats here. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get it going. Yay! Grim Gem, all right, what do you got for me, Death? Ooh, Zilly. I have 70 agility. Oh, that's so sick. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I got 70 agility on the bikes the other night. So we can actually do Zilliana. Uh, yeah, let, let's do that. Okay. It's time for our first boss encounter. Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't hurt me. Oh boy. Do I Zerk? You know, I'm not gonna Zerk the first, y'all. That seems kind of dumb.
I kill boss. 52 seconds. That's so fast. Oh my goodness. Speed Racer. Let's go. Oh my goodness. That's level 90 death coming in. Can finally wear Elder Rune Armor. So maybe we should maybe we should go and make that. Yeah, right after this Reaper. I'm going to see how many uh, ores and stuff I have. But that's actually a very important level. I think I'm going to have to tab for the last skill. Still, first trip was five kills. Second trip was, what, eight kills? Yeah, I am not doing a no food kill. We out. All right, guys. We've got one more kill left on the Reaper, but I had to leave and bank. I got to eat food. Oh, my God. I got to eat food again. My invent has no food. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't lose the hardcore silly on it. That would be really unlucky. Okay, we're fine. We out here. That is the end of the Reaper assignment and level 87 Slayer, which is pretty cool. No new unlocks there, but we're getting up into the 90s where you start seeing some really, really awesome creatures. Not a bad Reaper, but Zillion is a little bit above my pay grade. This is a long time coming, but that is the Beneath Cursed Tides quest complete. I can now do the Giant Oyster monthly d and I am not super in it for the clue loot, but the fishing and farming XP is really, really solid. I am so glad I bought Broad Arrowheads every day. This skill is so fast. I'm literally getting a level every three minutes right now. So this level 70 is gonna take no time at all. 40? Something like that. Did somebody click, do you guys just see that? What? There's no way, dude. Well, sub benefits for the Ryan reads bedtime stories over Discord call. We get milk and cookies, very disappointed. Honestly, I'm disappointed too. That is 73 summoning, two more levels to go. Then we're out of here. Level 74 summoning, one more level. Guys, I think this is it. I think this is gonna be level 75 right here. Oh, just kidding. You've all been debated. This incredibly long grind took nine minutes. That's level 75 summoning. Which means we now only have two skills left for Prif Access. We got Construction, we got Agility, and we are 130k off. Yeah, we, we're totally doing this today. I'm so excited. We're like, we're about to have Prif. Okay. Sell all my shards. 70,000 of them. And just like that, we got 1.7 mil. All right. We sold off our extra shards. We've got the money. Let's, uh, let's build house. That is level 74 Construction coming in. 75 construction done. Another Prif Rec complete. We now only have one Rec left. We need three agility levels, and then we have everything we need to do Plague's End, other than the Fletching Rec, which we're just gonna pretend doesn't exist right now. That's the Making History quest complete. I now have all the requirements for Catapult Construction, which is one of the Prif Quests. Let's get it done. Oh, what a shot. I will take my rewards. Catapult appears to be working correctly. I'll be taking this adamant halberd as a trophy of victory. And we can move on to the next one. Ooh, do I want a crystal bow or a crystal shield? Definitely bow. Shields are for wimps. Yeah, that's the one. And just like that, we've completed the roving elf's quest. Nine minutes exactly. And we just got ourselves level 90 strength from the 10k we got from the quest. I skipped over it, but I actually got lost partway through this quest. And I've made a guide to this quest. So, uh... Yeah, remember that anytime you see me dying at Telos. So we're literally four quests from being done. ME1, ME2, Within the Light, and then Plague's End. The train is rolling up to Interrogation Station, all right? That is Morning's End Part 1, Quest Complete. That's really solid. Nicely done. It took us 42 minutes right on the dot. Not bad at all. But for right now, now that we can get in here, I want to do some Dark Beasts, so let's get it. I want to try and get a Death Talisman to skip like half of Morning's End Part 2. Sometimes you have to send it, you know? Okay. So we're going to see how many of these we can kill before we have to lobby. First kill! You cannot make it up! You literally cannot make it up! Goodbye, Dark Beast! What, I kill one more, I get a Dark Bow? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. That's a walk-off right there. Goodbye! I don't know why I'm so excited about this. I've done this quest before, but I'm still excited, okay? Ready? Right through my body, and I'm dead. Insta-killed. <laughs> okay. Talk to Arionwin. Give me my agility XP, which was actually gonna get me the wreck for Plague's End. Thank you very much. And we're done. That is 75 agility done. 
We now have all the levels we need to complete Plague's End. Except for the fletching that we were ignoring, but I'm gonna get that done right now. That is a nice level right there. One more to go. We are so close to the Elven City, I can almost taste it. Not that the Elven City has a taste, but you know what I mean. We're almost there, let's get it done. So that's turning Cyan because the green is meeting the blue right at the opening receiver. That's probably actually a good thing for us because then if I go to red here, I can make that white very quickly. Like this maybe? There, I've got white light now. Okay. So now I just need a way to get that white light to, to <laughs> Oh boys. Okay. That was so sick. There we go. That was actually unreal. That is the end of the Within the Light quest. 20k fletching, 20k range, 20k woodcutting, 30k agility, two quest points. I can now start the Plague's End quest, the final quest needed for Prif. Let's do it. Oh, see you, bro. Did I really just pot up for the boss and not? That's kind of unlucky. Okay, I want a refund on my, on my super magic potion. Plague's End quest complete on the hardcore Iron Man. Let's go, and I didn't even die. That is what we like to see. 170 quest points. Holy mo- look at all those- look at all those fireworks, dude! Alright, ready? Agility, 50k. Crafting, 50k. Destruction, 50k. DG, 50k. Watch, I don't get a single level out of this. Herblore, that is level 80 or be coming in. Mining, 50k. Prayer, 50k. 50k in ranged, 50k in wood chopping, 50k in summoning, bang! We, out of all of that, we got one level, just 80 herb. I will take it though, good enough for me. We have Prif. So now, how do I get the Prif? Is, is now what my question would be. I'm a huge fan of this quest series. I'm not very big on quests, but I think the Elven quest line is really well done. The quests don't put you on too many random errands that feel like they have no purpose, and I actually really like the last couple light puzzles. It took a little longer than I'd hoped, but I'm glad we've finally been able to make it here. And the most important thing is that our hardcore Iron Man status is still intact. We're still alive, and we can continue pushing towards our final, ultimate goal on this account, the Dormant title. Last but not least, I just wanted to thank you guys for supporting everything I do. It's been pretty obvious, I think, that I've been through a lot of ups and downs in the last few months, and I just wanted to thank you guys for always being there for me. It really means a lot, and I can't wait to continue our adventure in the next episode. Yay!